Hey guys, it's Mike here with Growing Indoors 365. Thank you all so much for tuning in. This is what the tent looks like on Friday. I got my trash can right here and I'm clearing all of this out. Basically any lettuce that did not get eaten, I am just getting rid of everything. I gotta clear the tubs out. I gotta clear all the stuff out up here and I gotta make way for all this delicious stuff right here. We have some beautiful um, spearmint and lemon balm kind of all mixed in. I'm super excited for that. We, we got our uh, lettuce, redelicious lettuce. It's a beautiful butter lettuce. Just take a look. It's gonna have very nice colorful red tops. So I'm super excited about that. Showing some decent root development as you can see there. So they're just about ready. I think it, you know, tonight I'll be putting them in their bins and um, look forward to them growing. And this is just uh, some beautiful, six beautiful, um, six, six beautiful basil plants. And they're doing super well. Look at that, look at that root development. Isn't that cool? Amazing, absolutely amazing. I love this part, I really do. So what I'm gonna do now is just basically clear this out and I'll get right back to it as soon as I have everything inside the bins and we could talk a little bit more about what's going on in the tent and what's upcoming. All right, now I got the, uh, the top tier, three reservoirs, nice and clean, full with water. And as you can see, the water perfectly percolating inside. I love when I'm seeing this, the percolation happening. It's absolutely beautiful. Super excited just to get the plants inside and let them flourish. This is a very exciting stage for every grower as soon as everything is set up. As you can see here, these, these, uh, these tubes are a bit tight causing this little v-shape here that's because i actually reused them i never deattached them from the actual pump and uh, I, I i basically cut them right here and there was still enough line to reuse and this one was just pretty long in general so even after cutting it still had a lot of slack to it great things are coming along looking good i'm about to put the tops on get the uh, get every single pod situated and it should be ready to go. This is the not so glamorous part. These are the tops to my bins. I had to clean those. And this is all the rock, uh, this is actually the uh, the hydrotone, the pebbles. And uh, after every use, after every grow, I actually bring them in here. This is basically just like a big, um, I don't know what you would call it, um, a straining pan almost. It's, a, it's actually a straining pan that I specifically bought just to watch, just to wash my hydrotone after every single grow. So once I'm done and I kind of cleaned up the tent and I put new water in the reservoirs, I clean the tops off. I take all the hydrotone as well as, as you can see there, here are my net, here are my net pods. I clean them all too real quickly and I let them just like sit there overnight or, you know, you could probably just drop them into the, uh, the water with your uh, freshly new grown seedlings right away. So this is not the funnest part but it's something that has to get done. And now after all of that, after cleaning all the bins, after planting all new plants, this is where we currently are. Now there's nothing at the bottom, but I wanted to make this video to truly show what 30 days does in your grow tent. This approximately took 30 days. 30 days inside the tent will get you all the lettuce heads that you want, as much basil as you want. I mean, can you take a look at how large this, <laughs> this is unbelievable. Basil is such a beautiful weed and I call it a weed because it just grows and grows and grows. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And take a look at the lemon balm. <clears throat> I'm gonna cut some of this down today, make some beautiful tea. It's probably good for a couple of uh, couple of cups of tea. I got two plants over here. I got one right here. Incredible. One issue that I am having, as you can see here, two of these lights, well, one of the lights, two of the bulbs are no longer really working. They kind of come in and out. 
I'm probably gonna have to replace this entire light. Uh, it's not too expensive, which is the great thing, these T5s. Uh, the links are down below, guys, if you're interested in anything in here um, in regards to setting up your own grill. You know, the tent, the lights, the pumps, the fan, temperature adjustments, the shelving, everything that you need is down below. So make sure to hit the links down below. But I'm probably gonna replace this. I think this is like $55. Uh, this one's still going strong. I've literally had this one since day one. Probably, what, like four, maybe almost five years. That one's going real strong. And this light's going strong too. Like, the thing the thing that I noticed is when you try to replace the light, it's, it's actually more difficult than just replacing the whole thing, unless if you have a super expensive light. But, you know, for a pack of lights, for a pack of lights, you're probably paying $25. So you might as well just buy a whole new... Uh, whole new light with the housing and everything but i just wanted to mention that real quick but take a look at this basil now my next video i'm going to show you how i clone basil with the amount of basil that i have i could probably clone uh an entire an entire reservoir full of basil so i'm going to take nine clones from a few of these and I'm gonna show you how I take one plant. Let me just see here real quick. I could do one here, two. I could probably do three, four, five, six. It looks like this one plant can probably clone out six uh, different basil plants. And I'm gonna go into the details with that, but basically every single stem that, that you see here, this stem right here, as you can see here, it's got its own, it basically has its own life stem. And you would take off the large leaves and just start with the small top ones and it will grow in an entire plant all on its own. So I'm gonna get into the next video just like that. I'm gonna show you guys how I clone basil. I wish you could clone everything. Wouldn't that be incredible? I wish I could take this piece of lettuce and simply stick it in and let an entire garden uh, of lettuce just grow from each individual piece of lettuce, which kind of, I guess it won't work, but who knows, never know. Wouldn't that be incredible? The lettuce has been delicious. This red delicious uh, lettuce has been fantastic. I actually love when I get large leaves just like this. What I do with them is I use them as a substitute for like a burger bun. So if I make a burger, I just simply use the lettuce and I love using a lot of lettuce that way or sandwiches or anything like that. That's why I've been munching on it. But probably this entire side will be gone today from a salad or something like that. So this is what's been going on in the tent. It's almost at the time where I need to start thinking about the next three. You know, from as I start making this next video and I start cloning out six, uh, nine basil plants, I also have to put in consideration what am I gonna use for the other two reservoirs as well as the bottom three. I really want to make sure that I utilize the bottom three and the top two because I always keep this bottom light on. Number one, it increases the temperature a little bit inside the tent. In addition to that, it's really difficult because everything is tied in into an outlet behind the tent. And as you can see here, it's kind of up against the wall. It's pretty difficult to get behind there and just simply unplug. So that becomes a bit of a burden, but overall, Take a look at this marvelous indoor hydroponic garden that I've been that I've been um, cultivating for the last 30 days, and literally this video has been created from uh, uh, from February 28th is when I started cleaning everything, when I already had the seedlings ready, and I put the seedlings into the reservoir, and this is where we currently are. This is 30 days in the life of a tent, <laughs> 30 days of what it takes to get to this point of lettuce and basil. All right, guys. Again, this is Michael with Growing Indoors 365 on YouTube. I wanna thank you all so, so much for tuning in. Make sure to hit the links down below, more videos to come. Make sure to share this with anybody interested. Get them motivated, get them interested in growing indoors. I'll see you guys later.